Hello guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. And today we will be going over a Blastoise GX deck and a Baby Blastoise deck. This deck is sort of like a water box deck. Um, got this idea um, from a video that was posted on Andrew uh, Mahone's channel, uh, Tricky Jim. Um, uh, his his deck uh, focused more around Blastoises and the Inteleon lines. Um, uh, played some games, uh, thought the Inteleon sort of clunked the deck, and just uh, tried to make it as consistent as possible. Um, made it a 1-1-1 one, one, one line of uh, Sobble, Drizzle, and Inteleon to get out um, those trainer cards you really need like Rare Candy, Cynthia, and even Research. Uh, using the ability Shady Dealings uh, when you play this hand. Uh, when you play this card from your hand, you may search your deck for a trainer card and put it into your hand. It's really good. And when Inteleon uh, does the same thing except for two trainer cards, which is even better. Um, and not a few cards I changed. I added a Jirachi uh, just to add a bit more consistency and chances to start with it. added a Mew because against Picaram, um, you do take some time to set up and Picaram's really fast, so you do need Mew to protect your uh, bench, your Squirtles, and uh, a few interesting cards that I added, uh, Articuno GX, um, it's just a uh, fast little basic, because most of the times when you play this deck, um, you usually start with the Squirtle, Jirachi energy you have to attach to Squirtle, and that usually becomes a baby Blastoise, and you can just use Articuno's um, ability, Legendary Ascent, um, to get those energies on onto Articuno, and just use Ice Wing for 130, or even Cold Crush, uh, just GX, discarding all energy from both active Pokemon, can be useful sometimes. And Pip Toys, uh, Blastoise and Flip Up GX can be useful uh, during the late game once you shuffled your energies back in using Rocket Splash. Um, you can draw into your energies, let's say using research. Uh, use Blastoise's powerful Squall ability, power this up, and just heal your Pokemon using Splash Makers and at the very same time getting water energy onto the board. So I feel like Blastoise and Piplup uh, can be very useful sometimes, still testing it out. Uh, Baby Volcanion's in here for your Gusting uh, Jet Geyser. Uh, you discard a water energy from your hand and your opponent chooses which Pokemon they can bring up. It's like a Fion, except it just sits there on your bench and you don't have to put it back into your deck and find it. Um, I, instead of 10 energy, I do play 12 because uh, you do want to hit your energy more often. Uh, for Cynthia, for research, pretty standard. Um, I cut one evolution incense uh, for one Pokemon communication. I feel like more times than not you are getting stuck with a uh, Pokemon that you don't need in your hand and sometimes you do just need to find basics so Pokemon communication uh, can be really useful you can add two Pokemon communication that would work too um, but one uh, is pretty good three switch can go up to four um, but so far three has been enough for me and one chaotic swell I, I did like playing two chaotic swell but I just had to make room for more text for more matchups and four rare candy, pretty standard. So uh, that's it for the list, and um, let's get into some games. So ideally, uh, what you love to see is taking um, turn two uh, knockouts on ADP, and you usually want to go first with this deck uh, because you do want to start uh, benching Squirtles and and going first. With any stage 2 deck, it's pretty crucial. You do want the ability to rare candy um, turn 2. Uh, we did lose the coin flip here. Um, let's see what our opponent decides to do. Uh, we're going first, which is good, but it does make me feel kind of scared as to what our opponent can possibly be playing. It's obviously not ADP, which is obviously a pretty good sign. Um, Looks like some fire deck with Cynthia and Evo Evolution Incense. This could potentially be Cinderace. Um, not entirely sure. 
Uh, yes, we want to draw that card. Another research is not that good. Um, it does look like it will be a green Zard matchup. Uh, so here, we do want to get a Squirtle out. Um, what do we want to do? We can't get rid of a research because uh, we will most likely be researching next turn. And it, we will just kill the research anyway. So we 1-1 one, Inteleon. Uh, line is in the deck, which is good. We prized a candy by the looks of it. Um, prize the switch. Um, all the draw supporters are in here. All the energies are in. Um, yeah, we just take the Squirtle. Uh, there's nothing else we can do that's in our deck, so we'll just Stellar Wish. Um, Quick Ball is pretty good because we have a Skateboard in our hand. Uh, we will Bench Squirtle. A uh, Bench Sobble because we do know that the uh, other evolutions are in the deck. So what do we want to get rid of here? Um, it looks like we're going to have to get rid of Ordinary Rod. Which is not ideal really ever. But it's fine. Uh, we will get out another Squirtle because uh, we want... you. Usually with the set you do want... Um, two uh, Squirtles, at least on turn one. Uh, benching the Pip Toys is fine, we can just attach to it. And we're not going to attach the Escape Board just in case they do take a knockout on our Jirachi next turn, which is unlikely, but it could happen. So we will just pass over to our opponent, and let's see what our opponent has going for them. There is a Catcher, uh, it is Tails, fortunately. Um, there is just the Attachment and the Cynthia. So this might not be gr uh, Green's Lord, because they do play Cynthia, but I'm not entirely sure what our opponent's... And there's the concession from our opponent. Um, not the best showing for this deck, but uh, pretty good turn one. Um, this is a really weird list. Um, not complaining about the win. Uh, let's just get into another match. Um, and if you're new, of course, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, it would really encourage me to make new videos and knacky decks like this. So, yeah. Um, can't, I don't know what our opponent's playing from typing. Most likely ADP. Uh, so, we really do want to go first. And it looks like we will be. So, if this is adp at least we have that going for us. Uh, not the strongest opening hand, but not bad either. We want to top deck a quick ball or some other form to get Squirtles. Um, if we don't, essentially we just wasted a turn. Um, basically, uh, and there, there's basically no other better top deck than that besides the Squirtle. Um, so we do want to thin our deck first. Um, I think getting rid of Articuno is fine. For now we do have Ordinary Rod, we can get it back. So we prize one Squirtle, which is okay. We prize Pip Toys. Um, not ideal, of course, but in this matchup we do sort of want to utilize it as a quick basic attacker. Um, it looks like we prize the research. All of our energies here, which is pretty good. Uh, all the candies are here, because there's one in our, one in our hand. Um, Looks like we did prize um, Sobble, so we won't be able to utilize Drizzle and Inteleon until we get them out. And another thing you could add to this deck would would be another uh, Sobble, so a 2-1-1 one, one line uh, would improve the consistency of this deck. And uh, here we're really hoping our opponent does indeed with the attachment, but it's ADP. They do play a lot of energy. It's not likely that they will whiff, uh, so let's see what our opponent has going for them. There is the metal attachment. There is a Marnie, okay, so that is pretty good for us. Our hand wasn't that good, um, but it depends on what we draw off of this. We have to hope we get something like a research. Um, ooh, Jirachi is going to have to bail us out of this one. Um, or our top deck, of course, Squir uh, Squirtle is pretty good. Um, we, we do wake up, doesn't really matter, and it is a water energy, it's not very ideal. So here we will bench Squirtle, and a cool thing we can do here is, 
uh, go for our baby Volcanion. So, and hopefully hope they whiff a switch um, by bringing up the Zacian using the Jet Geyser ability. So here it will be a Cynthia, thank goodness. That is very good for us. And um, we will attach to a Squirtle Jet Geyser, bring up the Zacian. It has a 2 retreat cost. Um, and these decks usually don't play Air Balloon. Um, could potentially, but it's unlikely. And here we will evolve into a uh, baby Blastoise to start getting more energy onto the board. And uh, let's try and see. Uh, and War Turtle is in the deck, so we do have a turn 3 attack basically guaranteed. Oh no, uh, we just bench this. That's a bit of a misplay on my part. So here we will powerful squaw, get 2 energies. That's pretty good. We'll attach one there and attach one there. And, um,. Do we go for the bubble? I don't really feel like that's necessary. Leaving Jirachis in the active seems fine, I guess. Um, not really a way they can get out except using Switch. Hoping they don't play Air Balloon and we will just pass to our opponent. Let's see what they have going for them. Let's see if they can pull off that very important turn to Altered Creation. If they do, there's a Frying Pan, not an Air Balloon. That's good for us. There's a Jirachi to the bench. Another consideration for this deck would be Absol. I haven't tested that out. There's an attachment, so they do not have the turn to altered creation. It's super good for us. And there's and they are forced to pay two energy to retreat. Um, there's a switch, not ideal. Um, let's Stellar Wish, hoping for a rare candy. That is not a rare candy. Um, but we can take the ordinary rod. Um, and shuffle back in some cards it's fine take those two and yeah this is why Volcanion's pretty good in this deck um, so here I feel like we do go for the knockout on the Arceus Diaga Palkia so we're not really in the rush to rare candy and evolve into Blastoise we are not really feeling that pressure from our opponent so here, uh, no really big reason to play the switch, we'll just research. It's really unfortunate that we're losing two switches, but uh, it is what it is, and this hand is not looking to good play swell, so they don't get to play their swell. Um, is there anything else we can do to the deck? We already stellar wish. Um, the researches can be really brutal with this deck, um, I won't lie. So here it looks like we will just be attaching here powerful squalling and energy out. And here we can actually attack um, with a uh, baby Volcanion. We can just attach this here just in case they do play Absol. Um, but I don't really feel like that's necessary. Yeah, um, no reason to Articuno. And we will just pass to our opponent. Taking it slow, taking it easy. If they do decide to Brave Blade, that is fine by all means from us. Um, we will just most likely take a knockout against the Zacian and we're essentially guaranteed a knockout against this Arcea Dialga Palkia next turn. So things are just uh, falling into our hands. Um, we do want to keep up this momentum and by the looks of this hand we will be losing our access to Cold Crush GX um, which is fine but not really ideal. There's the Absol I was talking about, so it was definitely a good thing that we attached this water energy. We do bump the shrine, which is actually really big as the math um, really does add up in this deck. Because once they do alter creation, our uh, our Blastoise CX does technically have 270 health with that um, with the tough shell ability. Or what? There is a custom catcher from our opponent. Uh, and bringing up the Volcanion, and they're knocking it out, that's a really weird decision. It's fine, in my opinion, they definitely should have gone for that blast, this Blastoise, but that is fine with us, I suppose. Um, there is the Blastoise GX, which is good. Um, we will evolve, we will play our other Ordinary Rod. Um, is there any reason to shuffle? Uh, yeah, we will shuffle back in Blastoise GX and two water energy.
pretty good for us. Um, and we will just research this kind of way. And we don't really need to cold crush this um, station as we most likely will be knocking it out. There is a Squirtle, which is good. Um, we will quick ball away. Uh, um, we can lose a water energy, it's okay. Um, we can go for, um, shoot. Not sure what we really need. We can just go for Mew. Mew is fine. Um, no really big reason to bench it, to be honest, in this matchup. So we can just thin a bit more and hope that we do get that very important knockout that we need against the Zacian. So a powerful squall. And it looks like we will be getting a knockout on the Zacian, which is more than ideal for us, to be honest. Um, so we'll just. Uh, build this blast us up and rocket splash so because of the frying pan we will need uh, so four energies would be 240 minus 30 is 210 so we need five energies unfortunately but it will have to do um yeah so we so here hopefully we get something good off of our, off of our prize cards there's Pitpolis, which isn't bad and a pokemon communication um this is why sometimes i wish i did play a dedenna in this deck would really help with consistency yeah i really don't know why our opponent decided to chase our volcanion besides getting revenge for bringing this up there was really no real reason to knock it out i really don't understand that so definitely a misplay from our opponent it looks like they will be setting up that turn 4 altered creation. Um, they still do need a switch, which they most likely have. They haven't played one. There is Primate Wisdom from our opponent. Um, if they whiff here, uh, there's the switch, um, as expected. And, there, and here comes the altered creation. So we really... Um, there's a Cynthia that is a super good top deck. Couldn't have asked for really a better one. Um, yeah, so we want uh, Baby Blastoise here to rare candy and evolve and increase our chances of knocking uh, Blastoise DX. I mean, knocking out RCS Diagapak. So we will bench. Uh, do we bench Pip Toys? Uh, they knock this out. They take four price cards. So there's really no reason not to bench it as it does have a lot of health. Um, so we do draw some cards, um, energy is pretty good, so we need 3 energies, and we do get the knockout against our opponent's Arceus Diaga Palkia. This is why it's so much better to play more energy um, instead of 10, uh, 12, it just lets us hit so much more energy as you can clearly see here. Um, we will just attach some to this Pip Toys in case they do somehow knock out our blast toys next turn if they do knock us out we actually might be in trouble um it would be less than ideal but we can use our bubble launcher gx against sedation and one shot it if they do get a uh, saucer attachment and yeah that would be enough even with frying pan they are down three saucers which is really good yeah, let's just knock out this um, ADP using our overpowered rocket splash attack. Um, that's four. I guess we can get rid of all of them because we do have the attachment in hand. Or, no, we can get rid of one here. And yeah, we will be knocking out our opponent Arceus Diagapalkia. Super good for us. And we are just in the driver's seat for this. Um... And there's another Squirtle, not really useful. Sobble can be useful later on if you need to like dig for switches or something like that. Let's see if our opponent can pull back a miraculous comeback. So here, ideally from our opponent, they need um, they need Stamp, Saucer, Attachment, um, and just hope we whiff um, the attack. Uh, there's a shrine that is just in the shrine that is a start from our opponent. There's a quick ball might get them a didene or something like that uh, There's a didene um, So here let's see if our opponent can get their 26 cards in the deck 
Um, that's quite a bit of cards. They also need to hit a switch, which is not unbelievably difficult, or an escape board, which they haven't played any of. There's the Primate Wisdom, so our opponent is stuck with the six cards they have in their hand. Or, no, they can still play a draw. There's an attachment. Let's see if they can... There's a Custom Catcher. What do we have the switch in hand? There they bring up the Blastoise, which and there's the Intrepid Sword. This is gonna be game over. We have the attachment in hand. We have the switch in hand. Let's give them the well played. They tried their little hearts out, but in the very end, Z ADP Zation can't beat Blastoise. It's too overpowered. And um, here we will just Rocket Splash for the knockout and take home the game. And there's the concession from our opponent. And um yeah. This to showcase this just showcases how powerful um how powerful this deck can really be. It really is uh strong even though being even though it's a stage two. Uh once it gets set up, uh things really get rolling. So a couple of options. I do like second commu a second Pokemon communication in this deck. Um Again, Articuno GX, Blastoise, and Piplup, they're not necessary, but if we can't get, let's just say we only get one Squirtle on the bench, uh, and we need to set up uh, a Baby Blastoise, because that's what we usually want to go into to start powering up our Pokemon to attack. Um, we do still want basic attackers to be able to just bench them and attack with them. 150 is pretty good for 3 energy and with the ability to heal it's even better. And it just synergizes really well with Blastoise. Articuno is cute uh, if you want to cut it at a second communication, at a second swell, at a fourth evolution incense. Um, those are all options. Fourth switch would be really good in this deck again. but And the Dene would really help sometimes. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you guys want me to do any decks specifically, just um, comment them down below. And yeah, thanks for watching. A uh, list will be in, in the description. And have a great day, guys. Peace.